so today's topic is well today's title let's see if it's gonna focus the omelets in the rain um, let me see put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity okay. hold on guys I cannot see it really good okay so put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity I love Paris in the summer of 1995, my dear friend Mary Graham and I were vacationing there. We had a fabulous time filled with museums, shopping, sightseeing, taxis, trains, and miles of walking. From our small town, small hotel room on the left bank to extensive sightseeing, our plans exceeded all our expectations. One of the sweetest memories we share, however, had nothing to do with planning. One morning, we awakened to the thunderous, cloud, cold, cloudy, rainy day. Unsure about venturing too far from home based, we decided to forego our schedule activity and tackle something more pedish, more pedestrian two weeks of dirty laundry right around the corner we found a coin operated laundromat after what is that after these these furring I don't even know what that word is it's like deferring the French instrument instructions we secured the exact coins trust magnificent whatever I don't even know what that world words are after loading the washer we spotted a darling little restaurant about a hundred yards away dashing through the downpour we seated ourselves at a table under a green big green umbrella and ordered cheese omelets and coffee rain was splashing all around us our casual conversation soon turned to more meaningful dialogue about life and all we value most in it unexpectedly we had one of our sweetest times ever in our long and rich friendship we laughed and talked and enjoyed the weather as though we'd order the rain. We almost forgot to transfer the laundry, remembering that occasion of togetherness in the Paris wash always gives us a smile. And, remem and it reminds us that it doesn't take expensive plans or places to have a fun friendship. Sometimes it's best its best times are enjoyed spontaneously in the midst of the mund mundane so that's kind of that's true let's just say the little prayer at the end lord help us today to thank to think of something wacky different and completely creative to do with a friend amen so that's that kind of makes you know that um my words are having a hard time coming out. Um, but that kind of makes sense. You don't have to go to, you know, expensive places. Like for right now, we got to just stay in our home. But I don't know, you know, that's true. Because most of the fun times are when you're just talking sorry, laughing. And that laughter is what will get you through a lot for me right now I'm just feeling like I'm having anxiety attack right now that's why I started to read so it's kind of like relaxing me um, sometimes when you're dealing with anxiety it just kind of comes for me it just comes on like I can feel my eyes my head is not there
so I'm trying to snap out of it right now that's why I'm doing this video uh, maybe all the things that I'm watching listening and it's giving me anxiety so I was watching um, this doctor on Facebook I guess it's my cousin shared it and she was saying that people that have hypertension and diabetes are prone to more acceptable for this uh, flu and if you're like if your medication don't take ibuprofen and don't take um, like steroids and stuff like that at right now because I guess that you're more vulnerable I guess but thank God I'm done with my steroids and I do take high blood pressure medicine it's a lasartan so if your medication like ends with sartan then that's one of them too uh, I don't know I just think that all this stuff is just coming heavy on my mind and it's giving me an anxiety attack plus I'm alone that's one thing mo worse when you're alone you know you, you tend to get more panic attacks anxieties but it's kind of easing while I'm talking and reading this book but you know you know just if you start to have anxieties or panic attacks try to read a book um, jump in the shower um, talk to someone on the phone you know, a lot of these things can help alleviate. It's just kind of like a lot of stress right now. I don't want to get sick or I don't want my family to get sick. It's just it's just too much right now. It's too much. This is beginning to become too much for me. It's hard. But, you know, thanks thank God I have YouTube and I have you folks. Thanks for all you guys' prayers. I know you guys are, you know, I know that I have a lot of good people around me on the YouTube circle. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I'm just letting that out there. Like, yeah, sometimes, you know, while I'm making videos, I'm having a panic attack. But to make it, it kind of makes it easier. And it's hard to... It's really hard living alone sometimes you know I mean it's getting to be hard it's getting to be hard uh, I've been at home I've been alone four years by myself it's getting harder um, I know I have Novea but maybe I need one more dog to help me through sometimes then I keep my mind occupied because Novea she's just a lazy bum she's just laying around growling at me but if we have a little puppy, then it might keep us busy, right? Occupied instead of trying to bite my head off, Novia. But, yeah. So if you guys are going through anxieties, you know, you, you're not alone. Um, try to just focus on something other than that anxiety that you're going through. I mean, it's getting better right now. Sometimes... Yeah, sorry about that. Sometimes it's just a lot. But yeah, my battery's going to die here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this daily devotional for today. And then I'll see you guys in my next video probably tomorrow. Okay, guys? You guys take care. Be safe. Be safe all around. Okay, bye.